Hi there, Pisces. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, looking at September 11 through September 17. And of course, when we bring up September 11, we can't help but think about what happened in, the, in New York City 16 years ago, the Twin Towers, when they came down due to a terrorist attack of major proportions. I don't think we've seen such a terrorist attack that killed so many people and brought down two huge buildings since it's still something that is very vivid in everybody's minds. And this week there will be, you know, the dedication and they read out all the names and it's still very much in people's minds, especially in New York City. And with the flooding in Houston, it's just a very somber time right now. This week's menu has something for everyone, luckily, with two sweet trines from Venus. And that's a good thing. We need that this week. A salty sun satin square and an energizing Mercury Mars conjunction. The Venus satin square trine on Tuesday, September 12 is the second time these two planets have been in trine aspect this year. But this time, Venus, the goddess of love, is in Leo. And because Leos love drama, it's a good time to make a dramatic commitment. Wednesday, September 13 is not a good day to try to make something happen. That's the day the sun makes a frustrating square to Saturn. Things will go so much smoother if you can arrange to work around this short-lived obstacle and try again next week. That's when there's a Mercury-Mars conjunction in Virgo on Saturday, September 16. that gives mental energy to health, service and work. This is the third go-round for Mercury-Mars conjunctions this year. The week comes to a close on Sunday, September 17 with a sparkly Venus-Uranus trine that's perfect for making new friends or recharging an old relationship. The key word for this trine is freedom, freedom and freedom. If you're bound for this type of Venus-Uranus glory, be sure to circle December 20 on your calendar because that's when you'll get a second chance to do it all over again, Pisceans. So spare a thought for the people in New York City and the people in America who have been, and the people all over the world who are affected by September 11 and what it means, and as well as the people in Houston who have just gone through the biggest flood they've ever had. It's either man-made terrorism or Mother Nature decides to put her foot down and ex 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 exclaim that she's not happy with us. So it's just, it seems to be part of the day-to-day -day life we're living in right now and just something we need to just work on every single day, being humble and being grateful and ready to help fellow man. Have a wonderful week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.